So what I've got here is a load of mercury tarnished gold. Or maybe some bits of lead, I'm not sure. It's all silver coloured bits of flake, gold flake. And we're going to try and burn them off in my... Um, Uh, what do you call it? Retort. If you go on my uh, Facebook pre uh, prospector page, you can see me do a little video explaining how the tube retort works. I'm not going to bother here, I'm just going to use it and see what happens. Mm. So, what's going on here? I'm heating the cylinder up by the crucible. Hopefully the heat transfer through the cylinder will heat the crucible up enough to evaporate the mercury off the gold. Now you can see the bubbles coming at the bottom, out of the hole at the bottom of the cylinder there. So I'm heating the air up inside that cylinder, it's expanding and it's got to come out and that's where it comes out of that hole. So there's no mercury coming out in the air bubbles there, the mercury is condensing on the on the inside walls of that cylinder running down and should just remain in the water. So no, not releasing any mercury into the atmosphere. And it's what all these third world countries need, such a simple thing. Um, I've made this out of all bits of scrap metal, which I'm sure in most places it could be done with a bit of welding. So you can see I'm heating it up cherry red there. You've got to get it pretty hot to allow the heat transfer of the air gap inside. Um, I've never done this before, this is, I made it and now this is the first go. <laughs> I think I should have left it cool down a bit longer because there's a... And a bit of steam coming off there, I'm not sure if I've done that a bit early there. I'll leave it longer when I do the next uh, proper ball of mercury. So it sort of worked. I could still see specks there that look a bit greyish. I'm not sure. I think it's definitely better than it was. But, um... Not 100% on that uh, working perfectly. So that was the gold flakes, I thought I'd try it on first. So now after doing this, so I've actually got a ball of a mercury amalgam I collected a few years ago. Never done anything with it. So we'll try that next. We'll stick the ball of mercury into the crucible and we'll burn that off and see what happens. Here we go. So there's my ball of mercury amalgam. I kept adding any contaminated gold flakes from this river into that mercury until it would not absorb any more. So that is packed with as much gold as that amount of mercury can take. And it sat on my shelf for a couple of years. Well, a few. I should also say I'm not I'm not into working with mercury at all. I just happen to pan the mercury out of the river, so I'm cleaning the river up, and uh, also used it to deal with this contaminated gold I've been getting. So I'm using uh, map gas and oxygen here. It's supposed to get up to three thousand degrees, but. It's hot enough to melt steel, but uh, I'm just going to get it cherry red and hopefully the heat transfer will be enough to uh, melt the mercury off. The mercury, I think, only melts at like 232 degrees or something, so it should do it, but I've never done it before. We'll see what happens.
If you look in the area I've circled red, I'm sure you can see bits of mercury drifting off down to the bottom of the bucket. So I have no, lot, how, no idea how long to heat the cylinder for, uh, don't really know, I'm just going to work my way around it, get it all cherry red all the way around, uh, I have no idea if I've done it too hot or not enough, but uh, I'm going to heat it all over and then see what happens. I don't know if that's worked or not. I can't really get that much hotter than without melting the outer steel. So we'll wait for it to cool down and uh, have a look what's uh, if anything. So I've just burnt off the mercury now. Um, I don't know if it's worked or not. We'll have a look. Yeah, seems to have worked. So I'm not sure if that's the mercury floating around in the water there. I thought, I thought it'd sink. Oh, there's a bit down there. Yeah. So retort works well. Traps the mercury in the water. Burns off and leaves you gold. So I successfully uh, burned off a bit of fucking mercury, I think. Reclaimed my gold out of the mercury amalgam, and now I'm going to try and reclaim the mercury out of the water. It should be in here. So I took most of it and water off into this tub.
So I've washed out the remnants into my uh, pan here. So if you look in my pan, you can just see the little globules of uh, mercury all around the pan. Uh, I don't know if it'll stick back together, I suppose it should do, but and definitely. So no mercury went off into the atmosphere, I collected it all in a retort and reclaimed it in the pan. So I successfully extracted um, gold out of an amalgam, recollected the mercury. So I can recollect the mercury out of that pan, put it back in the vial with some water to keep it safe. And I've got some gold now to, I don't know if it's weighable amount, but a good few specks out of that amalgam. So after burning my amalgam little bowl I got a few years ago, I've got 0 0.04 grams out of the amalgam. Saved the mercury and, and managed to separate the gold safely. Job well done.